Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your May 2018 reading. This is for the sign of Aquarius. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and one of these oracle cards. If it flips out, you'll get to see it now. Otherwise, we will reveal it at the end. I'd like you to take uh, what resonates and just leave the rest. This is for the sign of Aquarius. I feel like you guys have learned something big. You know, I think that there's been a... A huge lesson that you guys have learned somehow I'm not sure what it is but you've learned something okay that is you know there was a lesson that's been learned and I don't know where that's coming from but Aquarius Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius for the month of May? Generally, my readings are love readings, so, you know, we're going to call this a love reading because that's what I concentrate on. Aquarius. Aquarius. does Aquarius need to know for the month of May? I will speak up during the reading, but as I'm shuffling, I don't. I typically just mumble. This is for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? You have to move on from a situation, okay, you do. I think that it's time to move on. It's time to transition out of something that has been causing you some depression, okay? So maybe this is the month where you actually do move on. You could have been dealing with a water sign, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you may just be taking on this energy or the person you're dealing with is somebody is cold and detached. They're not really communicating very well, okay? It feels as though there's a there's somebody in this situation, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, is withdrawn, you know, and it's 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 really time for you to remove yourself from this situation. Okay, it is to make a conscious change, to drop it, to let it go. Something needs to go. Obviously, it's been too heavy, and I feel like you guys are going to make a decision to let it go, whatever it is. You know, you guys are dropping something because you want to restore the balance in your life. You know, I feel like there's been a feeling of confusion. Um, you have choices, you have options here, and you've been really thinking about what to do. And there's been a lot of anxiety here. You may even be, have be paranoid about the decision, you know, like, oh my God, I really, this is, this is just overwhelming, okay? But I see that you're trying to be practical. You are trying to be practical. You're trying to be responsible. You're trying to do the right thing. Um, I see a lot of loyalty here. So maybe you've been loyal to a situation for a very, very long time. And, but the thing is, is I don't think you want to play. I don't, I don't want to play anymore. You know, I don't want to fight a losing game. Okay, it's like, I feel as though there's a lot of conflicts in your life that are unnecessary. It's like unnecessary drama, unnecessary conflict. Maybe you're dealing with a person who has other suitors or other people that are competing for their attention and it's caused them to withdraw from you and now it's time for you to just let this game go. I don't really want to play this game. I feel like you're probably giving up. You're not wanting to invest. This is this is very dissatisfying. I feel like you are dealing with a situation that has left you, you may be high and dry, made you made you really really depressed. I think you're dealing with a situation that has it's probably made you cry. You know, because I keep thinking of crying. You know, there's been some crying going on. 
And I, I feel, you know, now you are probably moving away from this situation. You're realizing the truth that it's not, this is unrealistic. It's never going to turn out the way I want. So you're moving away from it. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I don't want to start this over because it's already this far. But when you got to sneeze, you got to sneeze. And anyway, um, the thing is, and that's funny, everything that happens during a reading is for you. I had to sneeze. I had to let it out. I had to. So I feel like some of you have been crying. You've needed to let this out. You've needed to let this go. And when you sneeze, you let it go. So I feel like you've had to let something out, you've, and now it's time to let it go. Because I see you guys are transitioning to bring stability, balance, security back to your life. It feels like you guys are receiving a new opportunity that is more secure and stable maybe you are deciding that you're only gonna you're only going to accept security and stability either way this is a gift you are receiving a gift of abundance um, security this could be a new job this could be a new partner you are receiving something new that is more solid and stable whether whether that's within yourself you know, you're deciding that you're only, I only want something stable and secure or somebody's actually offering it to you. You know, I feel like many of you have these memories of the past, these memories of the good times that, you know, that has, has been what has held you back. All the good memories, all the love that there once was. And I feel like there could be a new opportunity as you release and move on from this depressing situation you know that you're still thinking about still causing you some tears I think that as you remove yourself from it and you transition out of it and start to feel more stable and secure with yourself perhaps even another person from your past will come into your life because this could be a new beginning okay this could also be well I don't know I don't want to say that yet I want to yeah some truth is coming out you are receiving some sort of truth there could be some communication that comes in um, that actually allows you to finally release to finally let go to make this change that you have been really confused about anyway there could have been a third party situation there may not have been but you know there could have been too many people involved in a situation trying to help you make the decision that you need to make and this might be you might be like saying no no the power is mine I have to make this decision I feel as though right now you're really focused on what you want and you're trying to figure out you know you're trying to figure out what's the best future for you I feel like you guys are preparing yourselves right now for either a move from this situation that you're stuck in you're working hard to get out of it or you are preparing yourself for a better future anyway I feel like you guys are really working hard there's a lot of hard work here in transitioning from one situation to another and that's what's going on here I think that you guys are absolutely transitioning from one spot to another and you're coming into your power and that's what's going on and that's what it looks like to me I think many of you are going through some sort of awakening. Okay, there's a wake-up call here. There's a breakup, too. There could have been a third-party situation. Maybe you've come to this conclusion that we're no longer compatible. You know, there's been too many arguments. There's been too many... Um, there's a disconnection. This has been less than harmonious. And I feel like you guys, there could definitely be a breakup, a divorce, some kind of split because you know you have something better in the future, something more secure and solid. It feels like right now you may not be celebrating because this is a really tough decision. You may be feeling like this is overwhelming. And I do feel like that's how you feel. You're going through some overwhelming changes right now that are bringing you a new security. So I feel like this is a month of transitioning from one phase to another you know things could be happening very very quickly I think I feel as though you guys are headed in the right direction you're moving very for you're moving forward very very quickly and you could receive some sort of communication 
that helps you move a little bit faster even. Yes, things are happening fast. There's no doubt. There, there is no doubt. You're dealing with somebody or you were dealing with somebody who had hidden agendas. And I feel like you've been enlightened. Like I said, you've been through some sort of awakening. I feel like happiness is imminent because you guys are transitioning to a much better spot. You guys are making a decision. That's what it looks like to me. And it, even though it's hard to transition from something that you knew or some, you know, what you've known, I feel like you guys are doing it. You are. You're taking action because you're not going to be lied to. You're not going to deal with secrets. And I feel like whoever you are dealing with had a lot of secrets. And I feel like those secrets have come out in there or they're coming out. And I feel like you guys are being the boss, really. I mean, even though we don't have the boss card, you're taking your life in your own hands to bring make yourself happy. I see, I see that you guys are going through some sort of rebirth. That's what it looks like to me. It's like you guys ha are waking up. You've, you're up. You've been enlightened. You're starting to feel more stable and secure with your decisions, even though you go through periods of tears. I feel like you guys are headed down a new uh, new path. You are taking a leap of faith. This is a new spiritual journey. So that is what's going on, Aquarius. You guys are headed in a new direction. And, you know, this has been a long time coming. I think you've been delaying it and you've been really confused about your decision. And I think that perhaps this month you actually get that serious enlightenment wake-up call that allows you to truly go after what you deserve so i feel like you are taking action because wherever you were at somebody wasn't giving they weren't giving you what you deserve and you've come to the conclusion that it's time for me to go it's time for me to go so i feel like for many of you there has been too much disappointment to stay okay there, ha there is. There's been too much disappointment. And the fear of the unknown has held you back. And I feel like now you've come to the conclusion or you've come to the spot in your life where you're ready to start a new journey even if you don't know what's going to happen. You know, I think you guys have found your confidence, you found your courage, and you found your strength this month. And even though... You know, you still have these overwhelming feelings. You know, you may have these tears every once in a while. You still have the, you have the strength to overcome the tears. And I feel as though you may be deciding to branch out and, and go find love elsewhere, whatever this is. I feel like you're giving up on a situation that was unrealistic okay because this is unrealistic you it's not happening the way that you would hope so i feel like you're 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 giving it up and you're you're moving forward you're letting go you're mastering your emotions even though at times it's not easy you're finding the confidence and the willpower to face your fears. That's what's going on here. You guys are facing your fears. You're, you're, you're transitioning from one phase of your life into another. And you're making conscious changes to be bring stability and security back to your life. Do I see new love coming in? I don't. Because I feel like you guys are still transitioning out of one phase that has been very depressive. But I feel like you guys are feeling more stable and secure than ever. Okay, and I feel like you're probably very attractive at this time because of your confidence. Your, your confidence is, is very high, even though perhaps behind closed doors at night you may feel like this is too much. You still get up in the morning with your held, head held high. Now you guys are starting a new journey. You're taking a leap of faith. And stepping into the unknown, not knowing what's going to happen. That's what I see. I feel like this is a really good month for you that you guys are transitioning out of something that wasn't stable and secure. Forgiveness. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. This is a message for you. Forgive and move on. Doesn't mean you have to forget. This will allow you to transition even faster. 
third chakra, Archangel Chamuel. This is I can. It's the solar plexus chakra. I can do this. I do have all the power. I have the self-esteem and the confidence to do whatever I set my mind to. I can do whatever I want, whatever I need to do. I have the power. That's what this is. You own the third chakra this month. You have the ability to be successful in whatever you want. So I feel like this is a very successful month for you because you're transitioning from a negative phase to something more stable and secure and abundant. There could be a new partner with this Ace of Pentacles. There could be because this could be a new partner being offered to you because you've transitioned out. Some of you haven't completely transitioned, but you are damn close. That's what I have, Aquarius. Talk to you later.